What did you think of the uh, uh, reaction of the crowd here tonight? I thought there were four or five rude people that uh, any time that they didn't agree with what the speaker was saying, they would make noise. It was very annoying to me trying to listen to what this, to Alan and hear the rumblings in the back. What was it that uh, disturbed people about the things he was saying? I think that they are so programmed by listening to leftist news media, New York Times, etc., that they cannot believe what anybody on the other side is saying. You mean that they have a, have a hard time even listening to it? They can't listen to it. They, they refuse. They shut it out. They talk. They talk intentionally because it's like the monkey who goes, la da 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 da, doesn't want to hear what's being said. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you work for Steve, uh, so I, I can't ask you, but, uh, but he organized it. Um, he, uh, he saved this for last, right? It, it, and then you had only a fraction of the, of the crowd that came for the other ones. Steve, Steve didn't organize it. Steve was put under pressure by some people in the community to also have a conservative speaker. Otherwise, would they have? No. The speaker comes and speaks to the, uh, to the what's the word, the church, speaking to the choir. Speaking to the choir. Now, is this something that you can't talk about openly because if, if Steve hears how you feel about no, it, you'd no, be under... he knows. He, Steve called me up and said, uh, I, I'm under a lot of pressure here. Do you, do you know of a conservative speaker? I said, gee, Steve, I, I don't. I don't really attend many of these things. I can't help you. And, but he found this gentleman, fortunately. What, what was it like when Watson, Watson came here? Was it more crowded than tonight? There was a huge turnout. There was no parking spaces available. Cars were all up and down Michelangelo Boulevard. And uh, again, it's just, uh, just, the, uh, just talking to the choir. Uh -huh. but why do you suppose there are much fewer people here tonight? Because the liberals greatly outnumber uh, the Republicans. Also, I called three or four of my friends in the development they were afraid to come because what they've seen on TV of Trump's meetings and, and town hall meetings and things like that, they get shouted down and they didn't want to, they didn't want to go through that. Uh -huh. But of 30 people who were here tonight, how many wound up being conservatives? Or, or liking Trump over Clinton? I would take a guess and say maybe 15, I don't know. That's generous, right? But not even. But it, it couldn't have been. Uh, uh, there was certainly nothing violent here. No, I, it was very good, except for the the rumbling. Every, every time a salient point was made that rubbed somebody because they believe the opposite, they couldn't let the speaker get away with it. So they started to talk. Do you think uh, some of the people in the audience heard ideas that they had not heard before? If their ears were open, yes, but I heard a lot of people just not hearing it, just not wanting to hear it, and speaking through whatever Alan was saying. Um, All of the salient points. In other words, the, the points that, that they had disagreed with from before, they were not even willing to consider? I would say that's correct. Um, if that's the case, then what's the he's purpose of having about the worst paper in the country? But he's not talking about the New York Times. He's talking about a local paper right now as we're, as we're talking. Alan pointed out that the Sun Sentinel didn't mention anything about, uh, about the uh, unmasking of the names which were uh, the Obama administration had been uh, wiretapping uh, and uh, eavesdropping on uh, for the entire year. It wasn't mentioned by the Sun Sentinel. Do you feel that people are being uh, kept? from facts that are, that are uh, 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 influencing, uh, per perpetuating their own current views? Well, all I can say is, unfortunately, where people get their news today, they, they refuse to listen to any alternative news source. So they're brainwashed. And that's it. And they're not going to give up until they've destroyed the country. That's, that's my view of it. Is there a point in exposing people to these, uh, these views if their uh, minds are closed to it? 
I would hope so. I would hope that, uh, you know, it's probably a numbers game. If you get a thousand liberals, maybe two or three will we'll see the light. And not that the conservatives have the light, but they may decide to listen. They may decide to open their hearts and open their minds. But I see this all, and I was not against Obama because I voted for Obama. First okay. time. First time. You split this country in two, beginning with the professor. I'm concerned for my country. I see it slipping away. I see that we were almost a socialist country. If Hillary were to get in, we would continue sliding down that path. Bernie Sanders is an avowed socialist. How can you have a modern political party catering to an avowed socialist? And of course, all that Alan said about the uh, second in command of the uh, Democratic Convention. Would you put it on our Facebook page? I don't do Facebook. Oh, okay. I got chased off of Facebook by all of the liberals. My wife is on Facebook and every morning all I hear is, oh my God, did you see what this one said? My friend this said this, said that. I said, Bonnie, why do you, you know, want to just get off it? Well, I do have some friends on there that I want, still want to communicate with. How do you mean you were chased off Facebook? Well, if, you, if they make a comment and you make a counter comment, right. all of a sudden, a thousand people are screaming at it. Yeah, it's, you know, and the language is not, is not good. So there is social pressure. There's, there's vitriol, yeah.